This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Arvada, Colorado. We are here at Jack's Point Assisted Living. Since 2009, they have been providing a residential home, providing care for those with memory needs, as well as a full group of people. What got you involved in this type of industry? Um, I was in the healthcare industry doing a lot of marketing and calling on nursing homes, hospitals, assisted livings, and I saw there was a, a void in the kind of care that was being offered to people with Alzheimer's and dementia. And then I saw a few homes, uh, small like this, that were being successful, and uh, we looked at it from an opportunity as something that we'd like to do. Wonderful. Throughout our lives, be it young or old, we're all looking for a place that we can call home. Is that really what you're providing here? Yeah, what we're trying to do here is make these people feel very comfortable. Um, in, in a lot of other settings, they might not feel like they're in a home or in their home, and uh, they might feel like they're sick. In this setting, they can feel more comfortable. They don't feel like they're sick. They feel like this is a place that they're used to and comfortable with. Great. Let me ask you, memory loss, even a, a slight touch of it, how does that affect a person's daily living? Well, a lot of times people can forget about some of the normal things that they would do in a, in a daily situation. They can't remember that they might have eaten or not eaten. They might uh, not remember to take a shower. They might not remember to trim their, their toenails or something like that. Things that start to get to be a little bit of an issue. Obviously, folks that are going through dementia, memory loss of, of any extreme, basically how important is it to make sure they are put in the right setting? We, we have a situation where a lot of times people um, end up in the wrong setting. They might end up in a setting that causes them to be feeling like they're in an institution, feel that they're sick. Um, they see people coming at them with uniforms on, they're in a clinical setting, they're uh, taking medications all day long, and they start acting sick and they decline very rapidly. And what we have found is oftentimes we can, we can bring those folks here with the help of their family and we find that they're really not sick. They're, they're more in a different situation. And when their needs are being met, they're very happy and thrive and do really well. And uh, oftentimes we can get them off some of the meds that they were on because, because they may have been over-medicated. So it's really important that people find a good setting for their loved one. Obviously a large facility can be overwhelming for any one of us. I can't imagine somebody with memory and you're walking down a hallway, you, you're, you're afraid basically. Yeah, in fact, one of the gentlemen that we have here was so afraid where he was, he was trying every single door, trying to figure out where he was at. He didn't understand all these doors. And uh, he has that setting here where there are doors. We have them different colors. He, he knows he's going into different rooms. He can say hi, do whatever. But he's not, he's not worried anymore. He's just, now it's a routine for him to just check on everything. It seems like almost a daily basis, you're almost having to be there to reassure her that everything's okay. Um, we try to create an environment where people feel like uh, they're, they're needed, wanted. There's some, there's some feeling of camaraderie and uh, they enjoy themselves. They have a good day. You know, they can look forward to certain things during the day. I experienced the staff here working. Obviously, working with dementia, the staff has to be very understanding and loving, as well as one hard-working group. Oh, these, these ladies are amazing in terms of the love and attention they put into each individual resident that they take care of. Um, you know, they're awake all night, they prepare the meals, they clean, they, they do all the adult daily living activities for these folks. They just love on them and uh, uh, they're special. They're what make this place run. Let me ask you this, how important is a, an activity program or exercise for their health and well-being? Oh, it's huge because again, we went back to the idea of forgetting to do things. Sometimes they forget that they need to stay in shape and, and be active and take walks and, and recreate and so forth. And when you remind them and they start doing it, their body re remembers. I just got done watching the, the crew there put together a great meal for them. Is that something we're gonna see? Are we talking about uh, special meals for each one or do you have basically something that works for everybody? You know, we try to uh, accommodate certain needs that might, people might have. Some people have some swallowing challenges. Some people don't chew as well. So when we make a meal, we try to make it in such a way that we can accommodate people. But for the most part, um, people are pretty flexible and they like to have different, different foods. What about in the need of a, a doctor? Is there a doctor on call or how does that work? So we have doctors come in and, and different residents might have different doctor situations. So we will have 
um, doctors that uh, will meet the needs of that particular patient. And uh, we can have nurses come in, we can have doctors come in, uh, we can have CNAs, physical therapists. Um, for example, we have a lady that's rehabilitating from a, uh, from a broken hip, and she had a visit today from a physical therapist. And he gave us a range of what we can do with her that's going to be not only uh, safe, but encouraging for her to get back to where she was before. Wonderful. Let me ask you this. Obviously, the home here, how many bedrooms are we talking here? And are some of them private as well as shared rooms? Um, we have six bedrooms, and we take care of eight residents. So we have two of the bedrooms we're sharing with two people each. And what's interesting is a lot of times people don't like to sleep on their own when they have a memory care challenge. They want to have a roommate. They get a little bit lonely. So we try to find those people and match them up, and uh, it works out real well. Excellent. I also notice here the fact that basically, obviously, the success model you've put together is working well. Are you looking at expanding and opening elsewhere? Uh, we sure are. We're trying to put together a plan to do nine more homes in the Arvada area, so we want to have a total of ten. And then we also want to have a wellness center that's going to allow us to get out and do more activities. So we would take, take people from the homes to the wellness center on a little bus and get a couple of days a week where we're doing some exercise, socializing, and just having a good time. If we had some kids or siblings out here that are possibly thinking about this would be a good environment for their parents, what is the process? What do they need to do? Um, first thing is, is take a look at our website and then give me a call directly and my information is listed there. And let me talk to them a little bit about their needs and their time frame. And I can, uh, I can give them some ideas of what to do as a next step or put them in touch with some people that can help them out. Really what you're providing here not only is peace of mind for the folks that are in the home, but obviously for the kids as well, knowing that their parents are being well taken care of and really in a home environment where you have taken care of all the details. You know, they're going through a crisis in their life, you know, and what we want to do is minimize that as best we can and help them through that. And so what we want to do is make sure they understand their loved ones taken care of. This is Gary Atensu with CNTV, and if you don't know, now you know.